good morning guys welcome to today's video today we are halfway through homeschool and it is feeding time and it's the time that we all get together like we come upstairs and Sophie feeds her baby Gabby does her schoolwork oh I forgot our book but basically it's something really fun that we want to do together so now I'm going to ask the important question that you guys have been dying to know you guys have been dying to know this and you didn't even know that you were dying to know this do you remember when you told me that puppies were a lot of work yeah. And how hard they were and you weren't ready? Yeah. And were you, do you, do you feel like you were ready for a bearded dragon? They're easier than puppies. Do you think they're easier than puppies? Yes. Yeah. Hi, dragon. This is why she should have got a border collie. Well, I could have a BFF, but she would have to get it in June. Molly does have a BFF. Yeah, but Molly could have the same breed BFF. Yeah, I don't know. I love, I love me. I even though she's deaf. What they doesn't lick things that are dragons. So they could train and go on walks together. Yeah. Why didn't we do that? They were so cheap too. And this one is deaf. So even though we have a deaf dog, I love her. She's my soulmate. I think she she fits in our family so well. So anyways, back to the bearded dragon. I love her. I told Sophie the other day. You know, so. If you think that the bearded dragon's too much work for you and you don't want her anymore, I'll take her. Like, that's how much I love the bearded dragon. Some of you guys are probably like, it's a bearded dragon, who cares? But she's very much a person. Like, she thinks and she feels and she is funny and she's sweet and she's... And to the end, no. She has all the emotions, you guys. She has all the emotions. We really love her. I love watching her eat. I can't wait for my grandkids to come. It's forward to not very long and my grandkids are gonna be here again. And yeah, like I love her. I absolutely love everything about her. I love how she waits until I give her a bath. She waits until we give her a bath to poop and it is so cute. So cool. Yeah, we made it through our very first shed. Guys, look at her. Look at her. Okay, here, put her down on me. She's a little black right now because she's scared. Yeah. Don't hold on. So Oops. So uh, there, whoops. She's like, what are you doing? So uh, there was a lot of stress with her recently. Like first getting her, she got really thin. Oh, Sophie, we need to stop feeding her. She's fat. Oh, she's stop feeding her so much. She needs more salad. I love her eating. So uh, when we first got her, she was like really scared. They're really like, they get scared. When we first got her, she lost a bit of weight because she was adjusting to her new home and it took us like a good week. So we've passed through all the hard parts. Like then she had a shed and that was worrisome. And we were like, it was really hard. Now it looks like we're going to be struggling with obesity. Like look at all that fat belly, Sophie. We're feeding her too much. I, I really want that big, huge baby. Yeah, we love big bearded dragons, even though it's bad I, for them. I gotta feed this spicy baby. All right, spicy baby. Spicy baby. I hate fat bearded dragons. They're like tiny ones. You like skinny ones better than fat ones? Mm -hmm. This is the hardest part. This is the hardest part. We made a new tub of for our crickets. Okay, so we made this new tub. It's much bigger. I'll show you guys. It's a little messy in there. Uh -oh. So so if he pulls this thing out, puts some calcium powder or a vitamin or a D3 powder. Whatever works. Whatever works. And then she drops a bunch of crickets. Don't be that much as fat. Yeah. So Gabby's like, don't make our our dragon fat. It's not mine. It's all of ours. We share this this. They're all white. She doesn't like it. Okay. So basically, this is what I made. We have some potatoes in there. Ooh, there's one that's black. Okay. Potatoes. We've got cricket food over here. We got a paper towel that's wet so that they can drink from it. That's a lot of water. And all these crates and those black tubes, they help the crickets find privacy because oh, one. crickets are apparently very private animals. Wait. Okay. So. Can we lift that up? Wow, like that's how many crickets we have, you guys. That's a lot of crickets. Okay, put that down before they jump out. Anyway, wait, crickets wait. like to be private and they like to hide. Yeah. That's gross. I put the lid back on. Anyway, this has been really helping us do crickets a lot better. I made it. I'm awesome. Get your crickets, little missy. She. You guys see how much fatter she's gotten? That's from us. Oh, she just got one. She's so cute. Like, look at that. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, my grandson Jacob is just gonna die when he watches her eat crickets. But like, he oh. has to be quiet. Yeah, we're we try and be quiet while she's on hunting mode. So by feeding the crickets uh, nutritious food, they are like it's called gut loading. Doesn't she look like such a baby though? Like she's so little. So we gut load our crickets with lots of vitamins and minerals for the bearded dragon and then we cover them with more vitamins and then she eats that and that's how we get all of her vitamins into her. She's adorable. All right, everybody's working hard at home school. Let's see what they're doing. Sophie is playing, what is that? Bloxburg, okay. Bloxburg so and watching videos. Sam, who is busy doing work, is also, what are you looking at? Facebook. Facebook. And then um, Gabby over here. What are you, Blue? Blocksburg? Blocksburg? I'm decorating. Block I like how your, I love how your computer, they, these are the new computers they got for Christmas and they're black. Not they're super Blocksburg, cute. Blocksburg, not Blocksburg. Blocksburg. But it is a work day. It is a school day, Laura. Why in the heck are they doing that? I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. I got taken away. Life ends when the mom gets taken away. Like, it's me that's like, do this, do that, do this, do that. It is. It's me. And what happened is I told you guys the other day that I've been trying to order a new phone. It's a special order phone. I like weird things. That's why all of you guys out there that send me messages and are just like totally yourself, geeky, weird, cool, nerdy, interesting, like I love anything flamboyant and weird. So anyways, I ordered this phone. It's a special order phone. I ordered it through a company named Bell and um, so I ordered it and they said like this is a big phone. This is not a phone that most stores carry. So you have to go in and get your ID validated. So I had to go into the store and get my ID, ID validated. And basically since last Friday, it's almost been a week I've been trying to order this phone. It's been a nightmare, a freaking nightmare, nightmare. Like I've paid money and then they've said like, no, we don't have any. They've canceled my account several times. Like it's just been a nightmare and it takes hours to work it through. So today the guy that I've been dealing with who is fabulous, his name is Ed. I want to marry Ed. Sorry, Sam, but I love Ed. And he has been helping me figure it all out. So that's where I've been and that's why the girls are taking a break. They're having recess and they're playing Bloxburg. And da no, dad, who is in charge of it all, is on Facebook. Imagine your teacher was on Facebook. That would be good. You're working from home on Facebook. He probably does that every single day at work. He probably does. Do you do that at work? Probably I do. <laughs> anyway, hopefully I have it all situated. We have to... I have to still go back and validate my ID again. So I have to go back into the store. But because of COVID, I can only go to the store with uh, an appointment. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to go validate my account. And I'm hopefully going to get a fancy phone. But I'll tell you this. I dreamed that it's all going to work out. And I believe in it. I believe in my dreams. I believe it's all going to work out. So I'm not going to stress about it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to leave it to the wonderful Ed to figure out. And so we're going to go down and play with our ponies. Because i got to work with my penny girl. Well, hello, girls. How are you enjoying this beautiful day? Spring is in the air, you guys. I feel it. I feel the spring. It's still freezing cold. It's still freezing cold, but I feel spring. First thing I do when I come down to work with my girl is fill my pocket. Fill it with treats. We all do it. In fact, I think I'm the only one that has deep pockets because... Like with her money, Gabby always runs out. Gabby never runs out of money. Don't get me wrong, but she always forgets to bring her money. She always, she never has the treats when she's training. I always have to share mine. Just like with money. Fill your pocket, sister. Fill it. I like to fill mine right up. Whatever I don't use now, I'll use with the boys or, oh. Hello. You guys didn't get to see yesterday. I checked her over. I don't see any fur missing. I don't see the fur missing. I don't. Hello. Hello, pretty princess. So my plan is to spay her and then once she's healed, get him neutered. And then by that time, I'm hoping that Molly will be in heat, and then I'll spay her, and then I'm hoping that Daisy can be spayed. 
All right, we are gonna do it. Sophie's on her way. See how she always closes the door? That is karma. Karma will take care of, oh, there he is. Hello, pumpkin. Yes, I know, Gracie. He's as big as a pumpkin. <laughs> he's as big as a pumpkin. People think you're fat. But he's not, he's just furry. He's like, wait a minute, it's okay. It's okay, oh, you are fat. How many, what did you eat yesterday? He's short though. Sophie, you missed your cat. Oh, he feels like a raccoon is in his belly. He's such a cute. I don't know, nosy pony. He's such a cute boy. He's pinning his ears at us. No, oh, he's liking it. As I'm scratching him, he's pinning his ears at you. All right, Gabby's already working away. So we're gonna head out in a few minutes, but before we do, we just wanna do a little bit of work with our mares because we gotta be working with them. Get the most out of the course that we're taking. class how do you Very feel like bad. what what's your problem area because willow is apparently scared of me now well so she runs away so how come that happened because the stupid cheek yeah that happened to me too how do you feel like you're doing in this class now well i'm the best one <laughs> <laughs> yeah did i offer to pay the girls whoever does the best in the class no come here if you did the best, do we have to pay you yes. fifty dollars? No. I have a treat? Then I'll see. Gabby never yeah. gets enough I you, treats. I give you treats. No, it's because I give her all the ones once I'm done. Here. All right. Here comes my pen. All right. Let's throw them some hay. All right, so we don't have as much time to work today. I just wanted to like take a few minutes and work it out. And so I'm gonna take like a few minutes and work with them. Look at they're like, wait, I'm, I don't want to be done. They love the treats, you guys. It's it's working. I think I'm doing better than I ever thought I would do in the course. I feel like it's gonna work. I get worried that I'm gonna fall behind and then I kind of start to panic. And then at the last minute, we jump forward and we're there where we need to be again. And then it's just a process. And I think I get caught up in the fact that there's a time limit with the course, but, but in reality, there's not a time limit with the course. It's meant to, so that you can work away at it. And I think we have lifetime access to the course. It's just that every week there's like a part where we have to check in. So we have to, we get the course information and then we work on it. And then the next week we do a live video where we get to ask questions and talk about the problems that we're having. And, and then the next week we get a whole new list of things to do. And the, the big thing is, is that it, each new thing we're given to do is just building off the last thing. So it's stressful in the fact that you have to have the last thing to move forward, but it's not stressful in the fact that there's like so much wiggle room in between where even if you're kind of behind, you can move forward while going to the next level. I don't know, I'm still loving it. It was worth the money for me, I feel like. I feel like it's been such a worthwhile, like next winter I'll do another course with our mares again, something different because this has been keeping us busy, keeping us active with our girls. But now we're headed out 
to do something just plain old fun. I want you guys to know Sam's being sassy to me right now. Where's the whip? So I'm blocking the door so he can't get out. And he's being sassy to me. So I said, imagine you were in the course and you had no whips, no nothing. How'd you make your mare move? How'd you make your mare move? Kick her. All right, let's see you move, move me. Ow. <laughs> you know how to move a mare? You know how to move a mare? Ah! Wait, our mares don't gang up on each other. This is between me wait, and him. Wait, I want to try something. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Something got stepped on. You did. <laughs> Off of me. Our phone is set up to tell us if somebody, we all have 10 gigabytes of data. So Sam has it, Sophie has it, Gabby has it, I have it. If we go over, then we still have unlimited data, but it's slower speed. So we don't want to go over 10. So all the time, when we're in the middle of a month, I always look at the data and I always like see it's like a contest everything with Laura is a contest everything you do not want to hang out with Laura Laura is that girl Laura's Laura's totally the girl that makes everything into a contest so the contest is who do you think used the most data already our month starts very early in the like it starts almost exactly with the calendar who do you think it uses the most data who used the most data so far Me. Sophie if Gabby is hanging out with Kaylee then it's always Gabby but first Sophie, then Sam, then Gary, then me. You know why I hardly get to use any data? Because I'm always the one working. I'm always the one driving, or working, or editing, or... Car. The whole time I'm using my phone. Yeah, every time they go in the car, they're always using their data. So, yeah, but anyway, <laughs> just thought you guys should know that, that usually it's never Sophie, but Sophie has come from behind, and now she is the big data user in our family. Yeah, because before I barely did anything. Kind of shoes again. So and now that we're actually able to go shopping, our stores are open. You want to believe, like when we bought our bearded dragon, no stores were open. So now we are shopping for our bearded dragon. So what really happens when you're in equestrian? When like you see like a pink, like a pink, well, well I saw a pink thing, and I'm like. Oh, and I loved she saw a pink thing and she thought it was a saddle pad. Oh, it's definitely a saddle pad. Problems of being an equestrian. So that's an aquarium. But you could probably use it and it comes with that. It needs a lid though. It's, a 800, it's a $800. It's really cute though. And I see her trying to climb up the lid. All right. Oh, that's a this is door. The one. That's the one. So, he's like, so we came to find a rock. This is Sophie <laughs> doesn't even let me look. She just picks it up. It's only $40. Let's see. I like it. That's pretty much exactly what I wanted. It's like a hide and she can sun on it. But we have a log and I don't love the log. We have something exactly like this. And it's not that awesome. Like, there's not that much space for her to lie. And we also want a water bowl that she can lay in if she wants to. So we're going to look for a really big water bowl. That's neat. Yeah, because she can climb up and go in. Yeah, oh, that's kind of neat. It's very natural. Sophie's like, but I like the this bigger one. Cool. Is our tank big enough for that, though? <laughs> that's cool. Another thing we have to be careful about is our humidity level, but our, we don't have problems with our humidity yet. Um, we're definitely going to get that. And I'm thinking about this one. I just think like there's not that much room in our tank. It's a 95 gallon, but mm -hmm. I kind of like, oh I don't my know. God, they actually have Dragon stuff. So yeah, they actually have beer. Like this is the first time we've been able to shop for her. Look at so we this? have that. That's like for water. Oh, Same thing. Different cricket food. Can we get this cricket food? Julia uses that. That's the same one. That's the same one we have. Yeah, that one is bigger, but I like the one we made better. You can also get lids for your vivariums. And they're cheap. They have a decorating kit kit with rocks and moss and stuff. Oh my god, give it put it in the cart. That would be cool. Put it in the cart, in the cart, 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 cart. I don't really like it because it's very loose particles and they could eat it. Like they could it could be a problem. Like this moss and stuff. So yeah, they do have carpets. The problem is they stink. But here's the problem. Does our does our uh, bearded dragon go to the bathroom in her tank? 
sometimes. No, she never does. She only goes to the bathroom in the in the tub. All right, so we did it. We got all the things that we've been wanting. We got all the things we've been wanting for her. All right, we are at the mall now. Like we are supposed to be waiting for Kaylee to go to the mall, and we just can't match up our schedules. Uh, so we jumped the gun, and we are at the mall, you guys. We are here. We're gonna shop. We're actually not gonna shop. We're just gonna go to chapters and while we wait, we're gonna wait to do the mall with Kaylee. We promised Kaylee we're gonna wait for the mall for her. So we're just gonna go to chapters. I'll show you guys when we get there. Like we just needed to get out. Imagine, if we haven't been able to shop since Christmas. Since before Christmas, we haven't been in, we have not been in a single store except for Walmart for That's food. A lie, Costco. Oh yeah, we went to Costco. We went to the mall after Christmas. We shut down on Boxing Day. Did we actually go to a mall? I was right. I was right. Gabby got me. Yeah. I was right. I love those words. I was right. All right. Retail therapy. These are neat. This is perfect. So we are in chapters. This is what chapters is. You guys know with homeschool, the girls are required to read. This looks like a good book. That does look like a good book. Keeper of the Lost cities unlocked uh, no you need to see wait don't you have a series that you're gonna be buying yeah, a series what's the name of the book that you need the second one in um. okay okay and then here's my Tom girl over here looking for her favorite car her dream car Gabby plans to be rich and to mm -hmm, yeah. buy her dream car Gabby what's your dream car Lamborghini Aventador, Lamborghini Aventador. is that it that's not Aventador though that's a Lamborghini, not an Aventador. The girl knows her cars. What color? Lime green, and I'm gonna wrap it rose gold. Lime green, and then she's gonna wrap it in rose gold. They have fidget toys. They have, fidget toys? They have none. Except Good. This. Good. I have two. All right, so Sophie found the fidgets. This is it, a whole row of fidgets. Okay, I can get? You can only get something that you don't already have. Like, those are cute. Oh yeah, you do like one for you too. Yeah, those ones are cuter. And then they have all these really cool, cool toys. Like, look at that. Beauty salon. My kids used to be into that. In case you're interested, Sophie got the second book in the Unicorn Quest. She actually really loves these books. Oh my God. Gabby got the Cruel Prince. She saw it on TikTok. Lush, dangerous, and dark. A, lush, dangerous, a dark jewel of a book. I don't know what it's about, but she got this. And then Gabby also got wow, a Wow So Bold and Deadly. This is the remaking of the Beauty and the Beast series. This is the third book. She's already on her second, the second one. So she got that one too. Funny story. The first whole half of my life was all about me and books. I am obsessed with books. I love books. I read less now that I'm older, but books are like a huge passion of mine. Huge passion. But now that I have horses, <laughs> I don't have as much time for books especially because I edit at night and I always like so my oldest son got the reading vibe like he got my reading gene and he loves books but not like me when I was young I read Mark only books. yeah no, he doesn't. yeah no he's a reader we talk about it all the time my oldest son reads but um then when I had Gabby I was like I really hope she reads like I hope my girl reads and then I dreamed that Gabby was gonna be a reader. I dreamed her a teenager laying in her bed, reading a book and being sullen. <laughs> and kind of came true. And um, anyways, when she was a baby, she really loved books. She loved reading books to her babies and she really, really loved books. But then when she got a little bit older, she was nothing like me. She did not love books. She loved the internet and she loved playing and she loved horses and she did not love books and I, I spent like a little bit of time worrying that she wasn't gonna love books because it was so important to me which is so silly looking back so then fast forward she's almost 14 years old and the girl loves her some books so my dream was right she is a book girl and I'm glad I'm glad to have a book girl in the family Sophie are you a book girl No. <laughs> who do you take after Dad. dad Sam are you a book reader only what absolutely has to. And then, have you ever read a whole book all the way through? No, never ever. He used to lay in bed beside me, and I'd be reading, and he'd say, "How can you do that? How can you just stare at those pages and read that book?" He just couldn't do it. But I anyway, it either because my, because my eyes, when I'm like trying to read, I keep on reading the same part over and over. I'm like, what's wrong? 
<laughs> yeah, so there you have it. You're either a book reader or you're not a book reader. And I wanna know in the comments below, are you a book reader? Don't you know that you're beautiful?